Hello everyone, this is Damon with PixNub Software. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a free new script that we have, and this script is for normalizing the scaling between images. And what I mean by that is um, to get the scaling the same for each image. Now I know when people are doing um, these sports posters, these team compositions, they generally shoot with their camera on a tripod with a fixed focal length and the person is always standing in the same spot for each image. By doing that, you don't get size differences. However, there are times when you may not shoot like that, and this script is for those times to help you out. So I'll just show you here that um, you can see these images are scaled a bit differently, and you can see that because the size of the ball is quite a bit different, as well as the size of the person, but they're holding the same exact ball and you can see in one image it's much bigger than the next. And I'll just demonstrate how this script works. Um, I'll first run this. And to run it from Windows you can go file open to run the JSX file. Um, for Mac you have to go file scripts browse. So for Windows or Mac this method here works. And then when you browse you find the um, file called EasyScale. And this is pretty simple. Um, it's really actually pretty self-explanatory, but we'll just find the um, folder that's got the images in it. And this is the folder of images that we're going to scale. And then since these images are already cut out into transparency, I'm going to save those as a TIFF. And then the only other thing you got to select here is um, your downsize or upsizing um, interpolation for when it does the scaling. And it's got upsize and downsize because some images will be downsized and some will be upsized. I'm just going to leave these at automatic and run it. And so it brings the images up one at a time and it also selects your ruler tool. Now for this script, you need to have something in the foreground that's the same size for every person. And in this case, we have a basketball. You can also use jersey numbers, but if you're using jersey numbers, you just need to be careful um, to know that all the numbers are the same size regardless of the size of the shirt. So if they're wearing, somebody's got a large shirt and somebody's got a small shirt, you have to make sure that those numbers are printed the same way. But for the case of these images, we have a basketball, which will work out really well. And when you're doing this, make sure they're all holding the same basketball because it's going to use the length of this ruler and it's going to collect that information for each image in order to know how to scale. Now, it doesn't matter what angle you do it at. If it's a round ball, that length is going to be um, pretty much the same all the way around. I like to do it the same direction each time if I can. That just, um, in case there's any camera distortion or whatever, that just gets it as accurate as possible. And the closer you get this, the better off your scaling will be. So I'll just hit continue here. And once you get good at this, it's pretty quick. And if you make a mistake, let's say, and overshoot it or whatever, don't worry about that. You can always come back in and rescale it because it will just redo the ruler measurement. And it's actually really fast once you get good at this. So now that I've done all the images, it's going to now scale each of these images one at a time. So what it's doing in the background is it's taking an average measurement for that ball, and then it scaled them all to that average measurement. And I'll just open them here so we can show you what it did. So it makes a new folder under the, um, it makes a subfolder called scaled, and then each of the images is named underscore scaled from the original name. So now one at a time I'm going to put these into this same document here. And we'll see how well that it got the size of these players.
So looking at this, it appears that um, it did the relative scaling pretty close. You can see that the, um, the taller player is taller in this image. And if you move the um, basketball over to compare, you can see that those basketballs are pretty close to the same size. And as I mentioned, the um, more accurate you are with your measurement, the more accurate that it will be when it scales them. So anyway, thanks for watching. And if you're interested at all in this free script, um, you can download that. And that is at easyteambuilders.com. There is a link to the description in this website.